Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are Tianjin Tofa Electric Power Technology Corporation Limited. As you can see, I just adjust the camera uh, because I just put it on the holder. So maybe the whole picture is well fit. Um, so today's topic I want to talk about is Gaveware. And so let's start with a brief introduction. Gateware are also known as stateware or messageware. It is used in the construction of overhead lines. For performance, the gateware is assembled with a guide symbol, pull bracket, stay out, and a turnbuckle stay set. These execution-related accessories are intended to stabilize the pole and the remaining conductors for optimal performance. And TTF stateware conductors are manufactured in a manner that withstand the continuous environmental stress that can occur during installation and other activities. A few wares are included with the governized ones to ensure proper performance. So there is no room for a joint splits or rods in the circular space. This increases the guy wears or stay wears longevity. This is in turn improves its performance. And to ensure the highest possible quality, an open heart procedure, also known as an electrical furnace or basic oxygen is used. There is also a thin coated one. Additionally, the consistent quality set by standards have, has optimized the product's performance to set the pace. You can obtain the work prescription and details using the ASTM provided area. So behind my blackboard, you can see this is all the agendas I want to talk about. So after my brief introduction, um, in this, all the things I want to talk about, so many things, and it's truly informative. So in TTF, we do this kind of uh, live streaming show uh, twice a week. And please stay tuned for the channel if you want to know more things about Powerline hardware, Powerline fittings, and we will share more your interesting content. Uh, so let's move to our first topic. Let's talk about its definition. So what is totally the guy wear? Um, and uh, I, I have to see, I didn't have any finished product to show you guys because it's just too heavy and big. But if you enter into this live streaming room and you can see the thumbnail here, uh, like the coils, uh, those are gavers. So if you are interested in this kind of product, you can leave your comments below and we will contact you. Or you can just vi visit for our website uh, and to send your emails to the support at TTF Power. So that's all the channels you can choose. And I hope you will like all the things I talk about today. So let's get started. A gaver or a gyrop or stable or guideline, all these kind of names, is a tensioned cable that is designed and manufactured to help a freestanding structure maintain its stability. And gavers are frequently used in rod mass, sheet mass, fair service ex extension structures, wind turbines, and utility posts. So I have to say this kind of materials is not only used in the electrical industry and it have the multiple uses. And so they're also used to raise and support the church tents. A guide master is a long thing or a vertical master that is supported by gavers. The gavers galvanize the finish protects from the elements. Gaver is designed to work with a variety of fittings and components make it ideal for a variety of applications. And I will talk about it in the later in my agenda. And the structures that support, support the guide antennas are frequently made of edit work and are 
referred to as、uh, towers. The guy is attached to the structure at one end and anchored to the bottom some distance away from the mast or tower base at the other. This combination ensures the fabric's maximum stability. So after talking about its definition, let's move in onto its second agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. I just、um, they stay in this blackboard, but let's move on to our second topic. That is,、uh, it's different hardware of the guyverse, or we can see different components of part. So for a guyver to function properly, it must be fit with a variety of fittings. So basically, it cannot. Uh, it has to be equipped with other hardware to use. So these components comprise a complete guy wear kit and include the following. Um, the big grip that and also referred as、uh, performs are frequently used for top tensioning antenna, communications and transmission towers, and slips, also known as as clips, are required when using largest. Grip dead ends. They have a productivity for preventing unraveling. Drop force wear rope clips are frequently used to clamp the guy wear ropes and finish the business after forming an eye. And the shackles are most frequently used to join wire rope chain and slings. Anchor shackles of the boat types are frequently used in projects involving the guy wear. And thimbles. Thimbles are used to protect the wire ropes attention to loop.、Uh, turnbuckles. It is just、uh, another thing that can be used with gear wear together. That is, are used to assemble or disassemble the the gear anchors. So after the quick introduction of this, the second topic that is hardware for gears. Let's move on to our second. Uh, not second. I'm sorry. Third one. This is the purpose. What is the purpose of a gaver? So gavers are attached to the tower highest point on one side and to a secure location near the bottom on the other. Gavers are simple to install. So simply connect、uh, the three of the mast where it connects to the antenna. Then we'll twist on, and or you can attach them into the mounting bolts. Drill holes in your mast and secure the wires with bolts for an extra secure fit. But this is also not necessary. Attach the opposite set of the gavers to points on your roof or bottom, and gradually tighten the cables until all three are secured and antenna can't move. Ideally, the three wires should be mounted 120 degrees apart, but this will not be possible with enormous antennas. So simply space them、um, as far as possible without obstructing the antennas. A typically guide wire is designed to transfer a portion of tower's load to multiple points on the bottom. Even if you are using a very narrow tower. A guide installation creates the illusion of a wider tower due to the triangle formed by the wires attachment to the bottom. Ah,、uh, so let's move on to our the first topic of today's agenda. I'm sorry, I have to write it properly.、Oh, start again. I'm sorry for that. That is its application. So after we know the basic things about the gears, and we have to know. So what kind of、uh, place should we use it? And let's move on to the, its application. So gears of the highest quality are extremely versatile, like it has the multiple. Usages and is very important, and、uh, they are strong enough to face the elements on the own. So, gavers, on the other hand, are 
only requires on certain poles to support and balance the uh, lateral loads. So to protect the public from uh, accidents that could electrify the cable, utility guide cables typically have a ceramic stream insulator at the highest points. The lower end of the cable where it enters the bottom is typically encased in a length of yellow plastic reflector to make it more visible and avoid colliding with people or vehicles. So it basically can protect the nearby animals or people or we can see the buildings. And in uh, urban areas where the area beneath the pole is constrained, a variation known as a setwalk guy is frequently used. The glide line in the top extends diagonally from the pole's highest point to a horizontal spar brace extending out from the pole center and then vertically to the bottom. Thus, the rock bottom portion of the guy is vertical and does not obstruct headroom, allowing for the passage of setwalk between the pole and thus the guy. So it basically can give the clearance for the guy. Um, so this is one kind of application for the utility poles. And let's move on to the gyverse with watercraft. The guys that support a sailboat mast are referred to a standing rigging, and they are made of chrome steel wares shop in modern water vessels. Guys are typically rigged to the bow and stern as a single unit. The port set givers are attached to the chain plates, while the starboard set givers are attached to the hull. So this basically is used though. Uh, in your boats, or we can see the vessels. As I once said, we are not just using gathers in the electrical industry, but it's worth a tile, right? Multiple guys with rods are typically installed to keep the master street in column or on sailboat. Like I just said before, the temporary guys are also used, and the four guy is term that refers to a line or rope attached to and intend to regulate the free end of a spar. The spinning pole is a spar that is typically controlled by one or more guys on a modern slope rig to sailboat with an asymmetric spinker. And also besides we can use in the utility post or can use in the sailboat. We also have a third application area that is wire for antenna guiding. The antenna electromagnetic fuse fills complicate the design of gavers that support mass antennas and conductor metal gavers with length nearly quarter Wavelengths multiple of the transmitted frequency have the potential to distort the antenna's radiation framework. I'm sorry, I, I have to move into this part. And you can see clearly, uh, like besides the blackboard, the agenda. I'm sorry, I just move into this part. Uh, and you can see, I think this an angle is pretty good. And you can see the this part of my body like on my face but you cannot see my hand gesture but i think it's okay um because you can see the whole blackboard and uh, if i write something in here you can see it clearly so let's move on that is conductor metal gyvers with lens nearly covered with length multiple of the transmitted frequency have the potential to distort the antenna's radiation framework. I just have the uh, quickly like said this sentence again in case you didn't say it clearly, you didn't listen to it clearly. And this also applies to gathers attached to nearby mass or metal structures. To avoid this, each guy where it's divided into multiple segments by string insulators, each segment being non-resonate at the transmitted wavelength. Typically, 
Cylindrical or egg-shaped porcelain insulators, affectionately referred as egg insulators, are used. Non-conductive guides made of fiber are ex extruded fiberglass rods are frequently used because they prevent radiation from being discharged onto the antenna. So this kind of type of fiber has comparable strength and low stretch properties to steel. Due to the extreme vulnerability or this, this kind of fiber to ultraviolet degradation, it is encased in the UV resistance plastic sheets. Uh, so beside those basic uh, three like major applications, we also have other applications for gaver. So you don't have to, you don't want to miss it, right? So that includes applicable to cranes, attached to telecommunication cables and the wind turbines. And also the last one, the lighters and a variety of other items. So we just talked about its definition, its hardware, its purpose, and its application. So let's move on to our fifth part, and that is the installation. You definitely want to know how it was installed and how we use it in our daily life. And now you can learn about it because I will talk about it. So how to install the gather. So there is no definitive uh, guideline for determining whether or not you should like gavers. Generally, it is assumed that any tower over 20 feet should have them. As a tower grows in height, it becomes increasingly heavy and susceptible to wind sway. Gavers, when you start properly, will assist in securing it. And I have to see, do you guys feel a little bit tired? Because I just talked about for almost 17 minutes and the whole like the whole live streaming is totally informative. I know there's not a lot of people to see this, but I have to see you should take care about yourself. And in your work position, if you just feel a little bit tired, maybe you can give you some a little relaxation. So now I want to drink some water. So if you are feel a little bit tired in your work, I know there's a lot, not a lot of people here, but I want to see if you do have any interesting about our company's product, you can support me and I'll be very glad to serve you, you know, and so let's just uh, dive into how to install the gavers. So when installing LED mask, the gavers used to secure the unity are approximately 19 feet tall and above. A gaver is installed in pole center at 90 feet to prevent it from swing. Heavy duty light tower 33 feet and above in height with secure bolted base may only have one set of Givers at the pole's highest point. However, it is critical to consider that best price call for two sets of givers to be installed in the middle and at the highest points of standard head towers. This section of the pole have the lowest level of stability due to their distance from the unit's foundation base. It is recommended to install givers one third increments and tall light must are in locations pro prone to inclement weather. The final or third wire should be installed at the mast highest point in the configuration. A gather should be connected at each section of telescoping light mast that require additionally stability. Givers are required below. Givers are required in some instances. With this type of installation, you should always consult your local town planning office. So that means you cannot do everything like what you want. And you have to 
be in accordance with the local laws. So you have to basically to conform to the local rules. And this is frequently the case if you are erecting something more than 10 feet above your roof line. Local law governing the installation of gathers uh, vary by city. So different cities have these different uh, rules and you have to get to know that before you want try to install the gyvers. So you just have to consult with the local engineers in your area. You'll be informed while this is required or not. So just contact with the professionals and you will get anything you want. Just don't be lazy. I have to say that. Okay, so after talking about the five things in my agenda, uh, I, will, I want to remove a little bit of my blackboard, or, or you can see here. I want to tell you like some a little bit of promotion information. So I hope you are not bothered by this because I will have to see that how to choose the Chinese manufacturer uh, of producing the high quality gavirs. That is our company. TTF Power. So you can basically find our company's information from the our social media platform, anything you name it. Facebook, we have TikTok, and Ins, Twitter, and then all this kind of social media. You can find us. Just the search for the TTF Power. And if you see this company, they are selling the Powerline hardware, Powerline hardware, and all these kind of products. Yes, this is us. And you can stay tuned for this. Just to follow us. Uh, if you like the content, maybe you can like, share, and comment. And we are very glad to have some interactions with all you guys. So let's move on to TTF Power. Are you looking for the best guy wear for safe for sale? The best course of action is to seek out reputable guy wear manufacturer in China. You definitely want to find one with a good qualification to the to do this product, and that is us, TDF Power. And this way you'll be able to purchase high quality guy wears. Yes, you can choose us to be your problem solver. Additionally, by purchasing directly from the manufacturer, you can be certain of uh, receiving affordable gavers. Yes, these are rate of reasonable price. And to take advantage of these and numerous other advantages, simply contact us. Yes, again. So it's a little bit of promotion, but I think, uh, yes, I just talked about a lot of informative things. And I just leave a little space for our advertisement. So just remember us, we are a reputable guyware manufacturer in China. We are not only produce the guyware's, anything you can name it, like it is either used in the utility post or in the power transmission tower. Yes, we do it. So after a brief talk, uh, let's move on to a uh, seventh part, and that is uh, FAQs. So this is the frequently asked questions, and basically is you can be view this as um, like a quick review of all my today's content. What I'm talking about, what should you know about the givers and all these kind of things. So let's just uh, we can see it. FAQ are the review. So the first question is, what is gaver? Um, this is our first part, the definition part. So a gaver or garrop are a guideline extension cable that is designed and manufactured to have a freestanding structure maintaining stability. Gavers are frequently used to support radio mass, shape mass, fire service extension structures, wind turbines, and utility posts. And they're also used to support Church resist and tense. Okay, the next question that is, what purpose do gavers serve? So, gavers typically use the on top structure and buildings. The following are some of the more common applications. 
wire for utility guy, guy wire or vessel for water, wine for the wire for the antenna guy, and other applications. So basically, I just talk about this in its definitions. It's just included in the first part. And the third question that is which hardware is used in conduction with the guy wire. So uh, I just talked about it in my second topic. Uh, I don't know if you have remembered. If you do, you can comment below. So for gather to function properly, it must be fitted with a variety of fittings. That includes big grip dead ends and the sleeves, drop for the wear rope, shackles, turnbuckles. Yeah, all these kind of components and parts. I hope you can remember it. And let's move on to us. Like the final or last, or you can say it's the fourth uh, FAQ that is why is gap very so prevalent? So, gap is used in a wide variety of situations and is available in a variety of sizes and strengths, ranging from utility to extra high strength. So, gap are coated with things uh, as extremely resistance to corrosion, extending its life and preventing damage to your structure. So that makes sense. You know, this kind of product just to have too many usages in our daily life, no matter we use it to the electrical industry, but we can use for selling and for antenna guy for all these kind of applications. And it's good product quality, or we can see it was coated with zinc, and so it can be corrosion resistant, uh, and it just have the long life conductivity, and you can use it for such a long time. Mm, so you don't have to be worried for its damage because it just have a high quality. So, hooray, we just finished all these kind of agendas behind my blackboard. Uh, so I hope, finally, I hope you can learn a lot from my live streaming channel. So I miss you guys for such a long time. And I didn't have this live streaming for almost one week. I don't want to uh, meet you guys so frequently. Um, but so if you are just uh, like us, uh, or if you have the good wishes to buy all this Electrical engineer tools, or we can say it, the line construction fittings, so all these kind of tools, anything you name it, uh, if you want it, uh, if I can see your wishes or you comment on our YouTube channels, and then I will be very happy uh, and I will have the more motivation to connect with you guys and I can see you guys more frequently. So I don't know if you like my new background because I just use the back blackboard for my total background, but you can also see the shadow of the windows. I'm sorry, because uh, in front of me, there's a big window. And also I just um, like showcase myself in this angle and you cannot see my hand structure clearly. Because when I talk with you guys, I also want to have some interactions, not from my eye contact or from my mouth, but also from all these kind of body gestures. Um, so I don't know if you like it, or like this angle, or should I use this uh, laptop holders to put it a little bit higher, like the camera's higher to be for me. Uh, so I just want to like receive all the feedbacks and if you just see this, I wish you had, can get some feedbacks. Uh, so, ah, oh, this is all the content today. Uh, we talk about the guy wires. So if you like it, please stay tuned for TTF Power and you can find us at our social media. And uh, what time you just watch this, I wish you good morning, good noon, or good, good afternoon or good night. So just enjoy your day. And I hope you, we, I can see you guys very soon. So I was 
stop here and i wish you have a nice mood and i want to see you bye bye everyone bye bye